Hello everyone, my name is Leanne Allegretto and I'm recording today's weather planning briefing. I'm going to go over the next day or two with regards to our incoming significant rain event across western Montana and to a lesser extent north central Idaho. So let's get started. So on the right here is a graphic showing the rainfall totals expected from later today, Sunday, through most of the day Monday. And the key points I want to hit here are basically what we're dealing with is an extended period of moderate rain with periods of heavier rain mixed in from about this afternoon through Monday. The potential rain amounts up to and exceeding one inch are expected across western Montana and for north central Idaho generally less than uh, three quarters of an inch in some areas in the higher terrain an inch. Uh, I will actually go through in separate slides as we go forward and highlight and zoom in on specific geographical areas, but this is just an overall look at what we're expecting across the board. The highest amounts are likely going to be in the Mission Valley of Western Montana, including the Mission Mountain Range as well. And you can see that um, the yellows and oranges hint at over two inches of rainfall in this period of time and that extends all the way up into Lincoln County as well um, <clears throat> so it's definitely significant especially in just a 24 hour to 36 hour period our forecast confidence regarding this the timing of rainfall is high the rainfall amounts are high and the runoff related impacts we're expecting from the rainfall is moderate and I'll get into that as we go forward the impacts we're expecting, excessive runoff causing creeks to overrun their banks, overwhelm culverts, and flow over roadways. Those are the, the most likely scenario uh, of what we can expect from the rainfall that is likely to occur. But I will get into specific impacts in the geographical areas. So we'll start right off the bat with northwest Montana. We're expecting the most rainfall here over the longest period of time. And once again, I'd like to highlight the heaviest amounts existing in the Mission Valley and the Mission Mountains. Now, I have a note here. I wanted to explain the fact that what we're showing here isn't the whole story. There is a 90% or higher probability of rainfall totals of 2 inches or greater. There's a 40 to 70% chance of 3 inch to rainfall totals or higher. This is from Sunday night through Monday morning. So that's the high-end expectancy. What we have here is the most likely scenario, but there's a pretty high probability of exceeding the 2-inch mark and even the 3-inch mark, and not just in the higher terrain, but down in the valleys as well. So what does this mean? Our greatest concerns are runoff creating minor flooding, clogged culverts, small creeks over overtopping their banks, there is a potential for flash flooding because we will have embedded thunderstorms uh, within this time period and that can lead to the periods of even heavier rainfall and of course rock, debris, rock and debris flows over roadways and I want to highlight particularly Glacier National Park and the going to the Sun Road which is very flash, flash flood prone. Um, it, it, just, it can be a, a big time hazard if you're on the road during this time frame with rain amounts like this. Moving a little further south across west central and southwest Montana, you can see here in the graphic, zoomed in, we're expecting basically about a half inch to an inch. Um, previous forecast model runs did show greater amounts than this, but they have backed off a little and have placed the greatest amounts further north in northwest Montana. So what are we expecting? In this area, standing water, rock and debris over roadways, clogged culverts, small creeks overtopping their banks, and the continued potential for flash flooding from the thunderstorms that are embedded in this area of moisture and the heavier periods of, well, the periods of heavier rainfall, rather. So a lesser threat, but still a, a pretty significant threat. And moving into north central Idaho, um, on the left I have highlighted the Idaho and Clearwater County area and on the right I have highlighted the Lemhi County area. You can see here much less than what's expected in western Montana but still significant. Anywhere from a quarter of an inch to an inch give or take depending on uh, your exact location. Of course the mountains are expecting a little more especially the further you know closer to the Montana border you you are but you know we're, we're expecting 
flash flooding from thunderstorms in this area too, particularly today, which is Sunday. And from that, we can get a huge burst of rain real quick, and that could cause the problem right there in and of itself. So keep this in mind. Um, the concerns here, again, are runoff creating minor flooding, small creeks reaching their banks, potential for flash flooding from the thunderstorms, and rock and debris flow over roadways. So what does our th weather threat matrix look like? Well, going into tomorrow, we are expecting lightning, so uh, basically across the board, which gives us a moderate threat for all zones. Um, Tuesday, we have a bit of a break because we're in between systems, and then we get right back into another lightning threat, a moderate lightning threat, uh, Wednesday, and then we're, we start to see a little bit more of a break Thursday into Friday. We do have an um, enhanced chance for another precipitation event going into next weekend, but we'll leave that there, and we'll tackle that in the next briefing. So thank you for tuning in, and if you have any questions, please give us a call.